let's talk about why your sprinkler head might be leaking. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, you're watching Sprinkler TV. All right, so before we talk about why your sprinkler head is leaking, we first need to talk about the two types of sprinkler heads. The one in my, my left hand, your right side, I guess, depending on how you're watching this, is called a spray head. And a spray head uses a spray nozzle and it puts water out in a fixed pattern, right? Quarter, half, full eight foot, 10 foot, 15 foot, it's a finer mist, it sprays water, okay? Sprinkler head type number two is a rotor, and a rotor puts a stream of water out at a specified distance, say 25 feet, and then it rotates slowly back and forth at an arc angle that is settable on the sprinkler, okay? So those are the two types of sprinklers, and, the reason that sprinkler heads leak can be for, well, it really can be for a lot of reasons, but we're gonna just talk about the most common. Number one reason that a sprinkler head leaks is because of something called low head drainage. And that is when a sprinkler, it could be either one, is at the bottom of a slope. When the sprinkler is at the bottom, all the water that is in the pipe, when the zone turns off, drains down the lateral line to the sprinkler that's at the bottom and it just oozes out. So if that is happening on your system, if your sprinkler is leaking and you've listened to what I just said and you realize that that sprinkler is at the bottom of the hill or the bottom of the slope, you can put something in the bottom called a check valve. Typically a check valve can be added to any sprinkler, it can be added to this Hunter PGP rotor, it can be added to Rainbird sprinklers, Toro, K-Rain, Weathermatic, most sprinklers you can insert a check valve. And if for some reason you are not able to find a check valve for your sprinkler, you can get an inline check valve and you can put it on the pipe just before the sprinkler to prevent that gravitational drainage, okay? And the same thing applies for the spray heads. The second reason they leak is because the riser seal and I'm gonna take the sprinkler apart here, can get damaged over time, okay? Under the cap of the sprinkler is a seal. Some sprinklers have better seals than others and some sprinklers don't leak as much as others, but I, I would say that generally over the course of time, most rotor style or sprinkler, even sprays, start to leak a little bit just around the the base of the riser due to the seals starting to get scratched and damaged. Most professionals would just replace the whole sprinkler, unscrew it, put a new one in. A lot of homeowners prefer to just replace the seal. Choice is yours. If it were me, I would just replace the whole sprinkler. It takes the same amount of time, you get a brand new sprinkler. The third way I guess would be sort of a damage vandalism, right? If the sprinkler pops up, and it is hit by something. There can be some breakage on the riser and you know, this turret can come off, the spray nozzle can come off and it could be, it could look like it's leaking, but it's actually like a geyser because the, the nozzle has been uh, damaged, removed. Um, and actually, as I'm talking out loud here, that also happens with rotors. These nozzles in here can, um, can come out if that set screw is not down all the way and it could be appear to it could appear to be leaking uh, or spraying water out uh, as it's not designed to do. So yeah, those are probably the two most common. Um, number one being low head drainage. Number two being the seals in here are scratched, damaged and are leaking. And then the third is just damage from lawnmowers and people just damaging sprinklers. So keep that in mind. If we can help you uh, replace your sprinkler, find check valves, feel free to reach out to us anytime. We're available by phone, chat, email, text message. And if you wanna drop a comment down below, we'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you can be alerted every time we release a new video. Thanks so much for watching. Happy sprinkling. We'll see you on the next video.